All right, that's enough with the uh, with the music. Uh, you know, I am indeed an idiot. Because last time during the stream, I said I forgot where to go. And then I just realized where I needed to go. I am not the brightest bulb in the uh, in the tool shed. If you uh, kind of figure figure out, but yeah, it's time for some more. Uh, <laughs> time for some more, Elisa. The uh, horror games that's that's been pretty good so far, except for not having a uh, auto lock on. But eh, oh well, it's not that big of a deal sometimes. All right, let's grab the controller. Pause that. Where the hell is the magic settings? There we go. Gamepad. And why is it on arcade stick? That's uh, something I didn't think would be a thing, but it will. And. Let's do this. No. Oh no, did I not save?
Oh no. <laughs> Fuck my life, I don't think I saved. I thought I saved. Nah, a damn clown would be running around if I did shit. Now I gotta do all that again! Ah! Fucking hell, why did I do that? <laughs> okay, I think I remember where that, uh... Whatchamacallit is. Did I at least buy the damn uh, Magnum? Wait a minute. Okay, something ain't sitting right. Something really is not sitting right. Aside from the fact that apparently just realized that I mute the damn TV, so I may get a copyright from a fucking uh, Comedy Central. I don't know how the fuck I didn't mute the TV. Alright, uh. This should be it. Let me double check the playback. I did save. At least I think I did. How much? How much do I have? Okay. Shit. Alright. Let's do this. Let's run back to the garden area. And let's see. Out. Cause I probably just didn't pick up the damn thing. Or did I already put the uh, thing in the... Uh... So I did save. I don't know why the hand on the model moved to the th thing. Stay on the damn gamepad. Really wish it was possible to skip this. Do I need to click on it or something?
And that figure drunk door. <laughs> No, I might like there's probably enemies in this <coughs> room now. Oh, uh, no. Mm, da, 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 did I grab it? After the boss, did I grab the uh, item? This ain't, uh... This ain't good. Like, at all. Oh, 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 I'm an idiot. It was just a key. Okay, what was the key again? Okay. Shit. Well, it's a good thing uh, walkthroughs exist. Hedge, there we go. Okay, I th can now see what's going on. First, let's run back up here. Just to double check that I bought something. No, I did not. How much does it cost? Forty-five. All right, should be able to get some, get that amount.
Oh. That's, uh, pretty nifty. That cannot be as simple as I thought it was going to be. Apparently is that easy. Thing recommended to save after, uh, before going into the next area. So let's do just that. Huh. Alright, picked the wrong time to save. Oh, oh, hey, 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 hey. Well then. 
Uh, didn't, <laughs> did not expect that, like at all. Okay, when I trick that cutscene again, I gotta double check the map. And I really don't want to use my last cogwheel to save again, but then again, I don't like limited saves to begin with, but if I have to, I kind of have to. I don't see how that can't cause glitches. Okay, it's screw I'm using my last cog wheel. Yeah, you know, real quick, since I still have that guide open. Alright, so it's possible to despawn them. That's a good thing.
so eerie that this room doesn't have any music whatsoever. Things started once again. Ah, oh, shit! Okay, at least now I know what the area looks like. Might last slightly longer if I use my last med kit. But I'm starting to feel like that's not going to matter that much. Ah, come the fuck on! I was right, they did last slightly longer.
Hmm. Okay, just <laughs> double check something. Well, at least I got done with that section pretty easily. Fucking hell. Oh, my heart's still racing from that. According to the guy, there's going to be a boss fight, so yay. Do that. <laughs> Wonder how much work it was to actually get the camera angles to change like that. And all the pre-rendering, too. It's a clipboard with a note laying here. Chemicals type A, B can be found on the top floor. Chemicals C are stored in the operation room on the ground floor. Dr. Emerson's permission is needed if you, wish to, if you want to use any type C chemicals. Alright, don't really want to go back on the first floor right now. Well then. <laughs> Magnificent. Very impressive indeed. Your strength that has survived so far is certainly an obstacle. However, I have been endowed with great power. I am literally invincible. And now your end has come. Oh, 
Hold it. Well, fuck that angle. Alright, I think some more rooms are open up. That's an order that has to, uh, that I have to light them in, isn't there? Nothing else there, so... And let's try this boss again. You're not supposed to do that! Okay, so it is possible to, to dodge those. Mm. 
No, you don't. Uh, yes, you did. Yeah, that was me being an idiot. <laughs> ah, you bastard! Really wish there was a continue feature for boss fights. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. <laughs> Stupid stink bug, get in the bottle. Damn it. I'll just stay there. Yeah, that was me being an idiot. No, you don't! Get up! Hmm. Oh, I cannot imagine someone doing this boss on the PS1. Because mm. the dude who made this game actually made legit PS1 ports. That. I got you now. 
Stay still. No! I was close to defeating him. So close to defeating him. All right. One more attempt normally. And if I can't do it, I'm muting my microphone until I uh, actually beat the dude. Ah, this is just like the Mundus fight in DMC1! Just lay down and die already! Jeez!
So it's not hostile anymore? Everyone becomes mad here. That thing there, it bears an unearthly power. It protects this place. You have to destroy it. There is an incomplete chemical bomb in a room near the library. But why? It's your only way out of here. The one and only exit is barricaded. But once this thing is gone, this place will slowly fall apart. And then it's your chance. Why should I trust you? I mean, he's on death's door, because so... Because you have to know the truth about your emperor's blueprints. Uh, there are people out there. They will show it to you. The emperor is not a liar. Oops, wrong button. That boss was just, <laughs> just no. At least things weren't inverted like, uh, I mentioned DMC because in the first DMC there was swimming for no reason. I really don't know why there was swimming in that game. However, and this is a big however. The controls were inverted, just like with the random, uh, I guess you could call it Star Fox section, was the first phase of the Mundus fight. It was not pleasant. Like, at all. I should be able to get more... But with that save, let's go see what's out here. Ah, you son of a bitch. All right, I can deal with the big guy just with his sword, but I am not fighting that chick. Without the Gatling gun. Welcome. Oh, whoops. I already bought the damn thing, so. Oh. Unload what I can. Let's get some more tooth wheels. Finally.
There we go. Time to go grab the sword. Since the dude doesn't have any uh, range attacks, it'd be definitely uh, easier to go, uh, what you call it, hand to hand against that guy. Boom! Come on, come on, give me some tooth wheels. Alright, sweet. Now, if I remember correctly, to get that area. Literally never expect her to bark. Mm, it's actually loud on my headphones. Where's the, uh... Where the hell is it? There we go. Oh, what the f- uh, 
That is bullshit! No, do not waste ammo. <laughs> Fucking game. Mm hmm. Yeah, this is uh gonna be fun. So much fun. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna burn this game to the ground. Because that was bullshit and the game knows it. And I got my revenge. Whoops. On the second floor. You know, it's so weird how the same language can have this have different differences between areas. I literally only say that because this uh, game was developed by. Uh, actually, not sure what. Let's just say English European, just to uh, be safe, because think England, Ireland, Scotland, and all them. Pretty much I have shared the same exact uh, phrases and whatnot. And if Luna can stop barking, come on. <whistles> come here. Luna, come here. Come here, come here. I know you want to see them, but I did. did, did. You gotta stop. Don't you dare snap at me. Alright. Because while this may be the first floor, if this was developed by American, this will be the second floor. It's just... Interesting little quirks like that. Not to mention, I'm still trying to figure out why we call eggplants eggplants and why they call and call them aubergines. Because no matter what, to me, both terms are, are the weirdest term ever. What do we got? Magnum. This is an old design plan for some kind of bomb. But it looks like someone was assembling one but didn't finish it. Type A, type C. Okay, okay, okay. Let's have a picture. And that window is bugging the hell out of me. I feel like something's gonna pop out as soon as we finish that bomb. But continue what I was saying about language and all that, because when Canadian English, from what I've seen, is a bit of a mixture, I guess, of American and uh, European English. Because they write program two different ways from my understanding and and the main reason 
American English is spelled the way that it is because just simplification. Back probably told this story before, but there was actually an attempt here in America to simplify English because Red Sox, the uh, baseball team, is the uh, bunch of call it a uh, element left over from all that. Uh, why did I run? Oh, okay? No, 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 I ran back here. Is this unlocked now, or is it still nope? But this is probably obvious, but it's just like the word color that's spelled with a U and uh, I want to say in every other English uh, speaking country, not completely sure about South Africa because I actually keep forgetting they speak English there. Don't ask how. But uh, da, 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 da. Oh, first. There's a strange shaped rock inside a glass dome. Here stands the finger of God, the birth of the Saint Johann's Institute, a kind of do donation from the Manor of Tides. Okay, most likely butchered that name. But yeah, the reason why we dropped the uh, U in like color is because, well, newspapers. You're, you're charged by the word. Here, you're charged by the letter. And there we have the winding uh, tool. All right, let's run back over here. But then again, different terms. And Can we found on the top floor? Ground floor in the operation room. Alright. Is this the top floor? What kind of guess it is. <laughs> there we go. But it's like, the, the one term that ticks me off and if I if I ever go to like Britain or any English European country and they mention how we change the terms football to soccer and it's like a I'm pretty sure we already had our own version before before uh, the soccer was even introduced here and B I quite literally just found <laughs> this out <laughs> not every country outside of the US calls it soccer uh, calls it football like Japan, for instance, they call it, <laughs> they also call it soccer. And like Australia, yeah, they have soccer there, but they call the British soccer, well, the British football soccer, because they or also ha have their own version of, uh, of football. And no, it's not rugby, which I just, I, I, I would never let, let any of my kids play rugby. Only because that's a game for savages. I've seen this. I've seen a uh, women's league where this one chick suplexed her <laughs> one member of the opponent opposing team. I'm like, nope, nope, no, 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 no. That's uh, not kosher, not kosher at all. But it's just, yeah, they call it soccer to differentiate it from their own version of it. But even then, like with the American football, there's actually a difference between uh, the football for the uh, for the Canadians because it's pretty much the same game, but the field is longer. Uh, da, da, da. They have less downs. I think uh, 
three downs? Uh, yeah, three downs. And <laughs> receivers can actually move before, uh, watch what call it. What the fuck is that noise? All right, I'm hoping I, I saved. I'm going the wrong way. But yeah, like, receivers and- HOLY! F the fuck is that noise? Don't tell me there's another- Is that you, you asshole? Okay, as a, I, I was saying, it's just, when the fuck does this, never mind. But yeah, it's just weird how things, how different things can be just with, in the same language. And even the same game being played in just, you know, one country above you. And I just realized the microphone was not, uh, torn, uh, turned towards me. Okay, let's see what we got now. Apparently, you can actually damage those guys. Oh, fuck. That was close. I was about to say, I saw something. Nice try. Nope, no one else there. And why do I keep hitting the wrong button when I want to bring up the damn map? I think I want to go this way. Oh, 
All right, sweet. Uh, though knowing my luck, I just set, turned uh, triggered a flag by doing that. But hey, we're gonna find out soon if I did. Yeah, I just thought of something. What's gonna happen to the, the uh, pole guy? You know, deal with the puppet after we uh, set off this bomb. Welcome. Thank you. What was it again? Probably not gonna get get that in this game, but hey, new game plus. Because apparently there is a new game plus feature, and I do kind of want to review this. So there we go. Now I remember where I'm going. Took me a second. That's my health at. Alright, I'm good. Okay, so it wasn't the... Uh the jackass in the uh, bottle. Oops, wrong way. Uh, well, let's give him a white sword so I can easily see him better. Side of the uh, commentaries, kind of well, trash. Pretty much slept all day since I have a horrible sleeping schedule along with my uh, Amazon job. Which I think I'm one of the few people who doesn't mind working for Amazon. But then again, I don't work directly for Amazon, so that may have something to do with it. Because I've heard some pretty nasty horror stories, especially about those fulfillment centers. But so far, my job's been pretty good. I mean, obviously, during, like, the, 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 the Christmas and all that, it's gonna suck. And which, it, it, it did. It definitely did. But I was able to get through it. The only thing that really sucks about about it is, this, well, a the uh, starting the shift, and I say that only because I, I kind of hate having to. Uh, I'm not. I don't. I don't mind loading the uh, the trucks I have to drive, but it's just. Just waiting, well, knowing when to go, I should say. Because I can never figure out when I'm able to actually go to the uh, damn warehouse or not. That and fighting the damn trucks can be a needle in a haystack. And not to mention I hit my head a lot in the uh, rams that we have to drive. 
The Fords are slightly better for me. The only trade-off is hitting my knee from time to time, which I don't mind because that's more rare than hitting my head on the uh, latch for the doors. Like one day when I was loading, ran to the back to, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, nab the uh, next uh, package and boom, hit my head right there and then. And, and it wasn't pleasant, like, at all. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Like, it literally just got flown back from that. And then, outside of... The cameras and the branded vehicles. I, I don't like those damn shelves that branded vehicles have. Like, uh, my manager, when I told her I would prefer to be in the Fords that we have, she asked me if I was sure because... Oh, no. Because she assigns the vehicles based on what everyone's doing. Like, where everyone's going, and of course, this is going to be a boss fight. It's like, good thing I saved. Oh, that's not disturbing. But it's just, at times it really doesn't matter with these uh, branded vehicle, well, with the uh, Rams, because Rams, you got more space in. And there was a time when I had, like, fucking, I want to say 40 overflow bags, which just means there are there are packages that are too heavy or too way too big for the uh, regular bags. Maybe unloading some of this will help. But it's just, if I had 40, like, I it was initially, well, because that day that I had the 40 overflow, my boss asked me if I wanted to be in a, uh, in a RAM because of how much, uh, packages I had for that day. And I told her that it wasn't going to make a, make a difference at all because it literally did not, uh, previous time I had that many packages. Like, I could barely get to the back to in order to actually get any uh, packages through the bags. Well, get to a uh, bag that had packages in them. Oh, fuck.
the hell? Damn, turn on modern controls. So, yeah, yeah, I just prefer being in the, uh, in the Fords. Let's try putting this on. I know my reload speed is gonna take a nosedive tremendously. Is that much defense? How can you uh, say no, you know? Alright, let's try going in like this. And plus, none of the Fords are branded, so I don't have to deal with that camera, which I really... I, I understand why Amazon puts that in their vehicles for anyone who works directly for Amazon and requires it for anyone who, ha who has a contract as a DSP with them. But it's... It's creepy as hell. Because they will track you... Like, they, they watch everything you do. And the damn thing will speak. So if you miss a stop sign, it will let you know that you missed a stop sign. Oh, wait, forgot. How big of a hitbox does this guy have? Uh, now what? What? <sighs> All right, so that plan did not work. And I guess this is why the developer said that it's going to scale. Welcome. The more fucking ammo you buy, the more fucking... Uh... 
Hey, this is seriously pissing me off. I really wish dogs didn't have the hearing that they do. I understand why they have them, but still. Seriously pissing me off. Ah, what the... F so I killed that thing. Well, at least they drop ammo, but... Okay, I really wish I was able to get out of the reloading f animation. Alright. So, I'm seriously starting to get pissed. Alright, one more attempt, and if I can't do it, I'll probably just end off the stream, watch them walk through, see how some people fucking deal with them. Because this is actually getting on my nerves. <laughs> like, okay, I, I do like this game, but this is... But there's some things I just cannot stand. And this boss fight being one of them.
That's ah, shit. What the? Shit like that. Shit like that. You know what, since that attempt was so short, let's try, let, let's try this again. Because I'm actually really pissed right now. Oh, what the f- I was able to upgrade the capacity, but oh well. Get up, get up! Get back up. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. One of these things!
Okay. Not enough to spill.
No joke. One of the worst final bosses I have ever that I have ever fought against. Biggest issue with Elisa, and I'll say it right here, right now. If I have to swap to a different control screen uh, scheme, you messed up. You messed up. That's what I'm going to say right, right here and right now. Oh, that that literally pisses me off. And the march of the Kickstarters. Oh, fuck me. Look, this is a good game, don't get me wrong, but that final boss was horrible. I mean, it could have been worse. Really could have been worse, but it's just... One, one big issue... I really have is that I can't, you know, combine ammo from the inventory like you could in Resident Evil. And, and the lack of a lock on that, that bugs the hell out of me too. But hey, I'm not the one who designed the game. I am really not the one who designed the game. Maybe I'm just heavily pissed off because of how many fucking tries it took me to beat this boss. But, eh. It's, the, it, it, it's a shit boss. <laughs> shit final boss. <sighs> there we go. Save and skip it. it. Just not good. Not good what, <laughs> whatsoever. Hey, we still have a FMV. And that's setting up for a second, uh, for a sequel. And looking at the picture, it turns out she's from Japan. Because I'm pretty sure that's a kimono. I could be heavily wrong. The truth about the blueprints. So again, that's most likely setting up for uh, Lisa too. <sighs> no hate to the to Casper Crows. It's just, just now. <laughs> I mean, the other boss bosses were somewhat decent. I still, I, I I'm still uh, holding on to if I have to swap to the modern uh, controls just to be able to comfortably beat a boss and. You, you may may want to rethink some of the design choices. And whenever this likes to load, there we go. Let me double check someone. It just drops me back here, and I think. Crap. But, yeah. <laughs> Just <sighs> I 
I I'm not sure how how to explain this. Is this I, I, I don't know. I guess just and make sure it's playable on both styles of uh, controls. I, I, I don't know. I think that's the way to uh, talk about it. It's it's a pretty short game. Only five hours. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's fade back to this. And her steam. There it is. Uh, if you do want to get the get the game, uh, da, 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 da. it's eighteen bucks American. So well, there you go. So, yeah, yeah, it's a, it, 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 for the 50th time, the game is good. So some of these bosses are not the best. Really wish there was a lock on and Yeah, I think that's about it. I uh, d -d 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 probably will do a review on it. I will also mention I really do not like the whole pay paid save, even if that is a callback to you know Resident Evil with the ink ribbons. Just never like that mechanic. Just. Always hated it. Really always hated that mechanic. And... Well, the reason why I, I, I don't like that mechanic is because it, it doesn't, like, you know, make me terrified or anything. Or just make me think about if I should or not. It more pisses me off than anything else. Literally only because, well... <sighs> I got to a point that I think think I, I should be able to save. I re really shouldn't have to worry about how much progress I, I made. If I want to save, just let me fucking save. But at least it's just one cog wheel. So, or, or tooth wheel, whatever the fuck it's called. So I guess I am somewhat grateful for that, but... Yeah, it's just as it's good moments, it has some good scares, but it's not all that's good. That's really all, all I'm going to say. Uh, ta -ta -ta -ta. We're gonna be doing late starts for uh, these for these streams uh, from now on, since uh, some more circumstances have changed with internet usage. Since I'm still stuck living with my father, his wife is actually now working from home, and I really do not want to, you know, mess up her job by streaming, because this does take a lot, a lot of internet, so whenever I figure out when her work is definitely, like, I don't know if, like, she works until all of her work is done, or she has to, like, you know, stay on there, you know, like, stay logged in until X amount of time. I'm not 100% sure. I'll figure it out at one point in time. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, pretty much it. Uh, whenever I'm able to uh, take it over the end of a bill, that's when I'm uh, going to, whatchamacallit, uh, be able to stream pretty much whenever. Because I want to stream uh, after work sometimes, especially when I get done early, but it's just I can't because my sister, because mm, she doesn't have a cable box. Yeah, one of the uh, few families who still have cable. Which, just to get this out of the way, I, I feel like people are going to go back to cable at one point in time or at least 
have a mix of cable and uh, streaming because all the different streaming services and all that. That's that. That's what what I'm starting to think is going to happen at one point in time. But it's just her stuff takes up the majority of the Wi-Fi somehow. So if I decide to stream one second, that's going to fuck everything over. So, yeah. But hey, doesn't matter. We're back to one game for a while. I may... may enter... Uh, I may put Sonic Adventure in, in there because, you know, I love the game. I bought the PC version, so may as well play it. Yeah, speaking of which, the I keep hearing people hearing that the DX version is like heavily bugged, and I'm sitting here thinking that it can't be that bugged because I well I I could be one of the lucky ones. I mean, Sonic games are notorious for its for its bugs, especially in 3D games. I mean, you know, 06 and uh, what's we call it, uh, Rise of Lyric. So, but yeah, and, and it. In DX, I never encountered any issue except for uh, Sonic's version of Final Egg, where he fell through those old like spinning tubes, and that's about it. Like I legit never had had an issue with uh, the DX version of the game. In fact, I think I'd use that for my uh, for the Redux review. There we go, Sonic Adventure. Whatever this likes to load. Yeah, it looks like the uh, DX version. Definitely the DX version. Again, never had had an issue with it, so it's probably just my copy. You never know, but hey, that really doesn't matter. Uh, tomorrow may or may not stream Devil May Cry. I have to get to work on the uh, Devil May Cry N Nocturne. We'll be returning to Nocturne maybe tomorrow because I have to work on the Devil May Cry video because I still haven't gotten my voice recorded. And I set a hard deadline for myself to get the video done by this Saturday, so there, no matter what, there won't be a stream Saturday so I can work on the damn video. But, yeah. So, just have to work on that if any of you guys actually care about future projects. Uh, da, 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 da. I'm still going through... Uh, I, I decided to do just review the different shows on four kids well from four kids you know all the anime that they brought off uh brought over and some of the cartoons from canada i want to say how the hell is a website still up oh <laughs> i was like what the hell no it's a charity now But yeah, uh, some of the ca Canadian shows that they brought over here. Uh, with the Yu-Gi-Oh! Marathon, I have planned uh, being the uh, finale to that. Though I'm still trying to figure out if I should even uh, include Yu-Gi-Oh! 7s in that. Because I already I, I said screwed and decided to go from Season 0 all the way up to Vrains, even though I cannot stand Vrains. Like, I really hate Yusuku. Un unless it gets better in the future arcs, uh, he, the, the show's going to get burnt to the ground in my, in my video. But but real quick, uh, Dark Sign Arc is better than uh, it's better than Battle City Arc. 
I'm that that's a legit opinion I have. I like the Battle City arc, but it's never going to top the Dark Sino arc. But yeah, that's going to be the finale to the whole four kids thing. Uh, da, 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 which the next video for that because even though this it's more of an impromptu thing because Common Rider Dragonite that was a four kids production. I said yeah, screw it, let's go through this and make a video on it. It's better than uh, Ryuki, I will say that right here and right now. I, Ryuki fucking sucked. Like, especially the main character, Shinji. I, I did not like that fucker. But, yeah, I'm... Da, 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 watching this one magical girl anime that they brought over, which was actually better than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be some... Some fucking trash show that uh, that they brought over but yeah it's again better than what I thought it was going to be it's uh, Japanese titles Ojimajo Doremi it has about five seasons so far but I had you on silent and that was my sister and I'm at uh, on season three right now And it's kind of boring. <laughs> There's some good episodes, but the majority of them is just fucking weird. Especially since there's this plot point where witches uh, have to eat vegetables to keep their magic going, which is <laughs> the lamest way to get the kids to uh, eat their vegetables. <laughs> but oh, oh well, this is the thing, and apparently. One of the characters uh, hates uh, green peppers like every ja well almost every single Japanese kid, and I'm saying you're thinking, who's going to tell her that green, yellow, orange, and red peppers all have the same exact taste? <laughs> like I, I just found found that out while well, because I watch a lot of Gordon Ramsay videos, and it's just it's just funny how shit like that works out. Yeah, again, it's better than what I th thought it was going to be. So, since I can find some, <laughs> this is one thing that sucks about about some obscure anime because I won't be able to find any uh, raws for the video because I really do not like keeping, unless it's a video game, I don't like keeping subtitles in. Only because it looks better if it's not a uh, video game. But no. I'm, it's not that big of a deal if I can't find any. I'm just glad I found footage in general. <sighs> Persona Marathon is going. I got the final video, the script done. And now I'm going to be starting Revelations Persona, which... Speaking of four kids, uh, but jokes aside, it's... Uh... It's going to be fun really gonna be fun because I don't I, I I do I'm not looking forward to the spec uh, the spec uh, dungeon only because the uh, battle system is pretty slow in the very first persona game and it's just, moves take forever and there's this one demon in the game that has has a move waltz and there's a encounter that you can have three of that same Zach demon and Waltz take, takes a bit for the animation to actually finish. But as soon as I get that done, probably going to jump over to uh, Persona 4. Actually, uh, hmm. either the Arena Games or Dancing All Night. Let's see how. What's the average? Nine hours. All right. Oh, that's pretty short for Pokemon Arceus. There we go. All right. So combined nine and a half hours for Arena, but what about? <coughs> Dancing in Starlight, seven hours. Dancing in Moonlight, seven hours as well. All right, so... 
14. So that's 13 hours right there. So, yeah, I guess Arena is next, especially since the uh, port is coming. But hey, that doesn't matter because I've yet to actually... Like, I own both uh, Arena and Ultimax, which I am super pissed that they didn't keep the Japanese title because I think it's Ultimate Suplex old for the second Arena game. But, yeah, uh... Hopefully it's good. I may uh, buy a uh, Blaze Blue uh, Cross Tag Battle. I think it's what it's called, where it has a Blaze Blue Persona and Ruby characters. So yeah, that may be better. Uh, maybe a better focus, but eh, I still haven't played them yet, so you, you never know. Uh, one thing I know for uh, for fucking fact. Because speaking of Ruby, whenever that shit ends, I am making a video on it because it has dropped so, so, so hard. Uh, da, 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 da. For Tokusatsu uh, projects, uh, I have to rewatch Real Soldier to make that video because that script is doesn't make any sense anymore. But one thing... I will be making a video on Dino Fury because it's been horrible so far, <laughs> especially since the gigantic retcon that they had with the uh, Nexus Prism. Because if you don't know, in the uh, in Ninja Steel, they had this thing called the Ninja Nexus Prism, which held the uh, source of the uh, Ninja Steel Rangers' powers, the uh, Power Stars. At the beginning, the thing got cut into six different stars, and then a couple of years in the future, the Rangers got the stars. But now this is called the Pri Nexus Prism, even though the, the Ninja Nexus Prism was heavily connected to the, to the damn thing, and apparently these morphing masters what, really need background on those guys. Really need backgrounds on those guys, because I, I thought the morphing grid was just fine on its own. We don't need people there because it's maintained by the fight of good and evil that was established in season two of mighty morphin so it's not like there ne needs actual protection and it's like the best part <laughs> at, at the end of season one of dino fury the source of the rangers powers are apparently these statues in, in a place called Di dino henge and in order to save his friends the blue ranger destroys them, not knowing that they're the full source of the power. And with the enemy still being out there, they're still going to fight. However, <laughs> the Green Morphing Master says, no, fuck that, you still got your powers, restores the damn things, and it's like, geez, this is an American anime just like that gave the powers right <laughs> back to the main protagonist in the same idiotic fucking fashion it's like no no the, the you could have made a good story about them trying to regain their powers what the fuck and, and it's like if she was able to do do that this may be a shitty season but what about operation overdrive yeah and <laughs> yeah real quick before i continue this tangent I may as well j turn this to just chatting. Where is it? There we go. <laughs> I may have to cut this out on the uh, rebrand. Re uh, finish Elisa. There we go. Done. So as I was saying, <laughs> as I was saying,
In Operation Overdrive, there was an episode called, well, two-parter, I should say, called Once a Ranger. During this two-parter, the son of Rita Repulsa and Lord Zed decides to make an appearance. Gets all the, uh, evil, the uh, evil forces of that season, because they were doing different fractions... Uh, factions, I should say, not fractions. And that season had a big old uh, team up. Frax was able to uh, dis d uh, to destroy the Operation Overdrive team's link to the morphing grid. So much so that uh, it, 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 it was very hard to reestablish that link. So the Sentinel Knight, a asshole character right next to Animus, decides, yeah, let's bring in five previous Rangers to, uh, you know, Replace them, even though Tori, the blue ninja storm ranger, lost her powers. At, uh, what's her face, the yellow uh, dino thunder ranger, lost her powers as well. Both at the end of their respective seasons. Bridge, the green, now red SPD ranger, is from the future. Even though he, he, he could give some leeway because they had actual dates. So you never know. I think Operation Overdrive probably took place during the future, even though was, there was no mention of SPD. The Green Mystic Force Ranger, uh, Xander, I want to say his name. <laughs> There's a good chance that he still didn't have his powers because of the end of uh, Mystic Force. But yeah, you never know. He, he probably still had his powers. And Adam. Yeah, he was able to morph in, uh, like the second Black Ranger, he was able to morph in, uh, in space with the original Morpher, calling out the original Power Coin, but that was unstable, so unless Adam actually fixed the Morpher, the Sentinel Knight gave three, possibly four Rangers back their powers, and brought one Ranger from the future to the past, and it's like, the, 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 why, why? Especially since since Bridge is now the Red Ranger, he's the lead of B Squad. <laughs> so his team, it's probably wondering what the hell he did. And apparently, uh, uh, what's his face? The original SPD Red Ranger, Jack, I want to say, is, is now back at SPD. Even though the ending of that season had him leave SPD to do the charity work. I, 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 I don't, I don't know, it's about to give me a damn aneurysm, but it's just, they got, Adam apparently put Alpha in storage, or one of the Ranger team put Alpha in storage, I don't know why, it's just, that, that's an asshole thing to, to do, but they go to Angel Grove, get Alpha to digitize himself into the morphing grid to try and reestablish the Overdrive teams uh, link to it. And with the Morphing Masters, and this is why this pissed me off so, so much, where the fuck were they to reestablish that link? They did that in Dino Fury. They did that in Dino Fury, and it's like, why? <laughs> why? Why, why? Why didn't you do that beforehand? I get it, I get it. And they're a new thing. But it's been established that they were there for for a while because the original Dino Fury team came to Earth like a good couple thousand years ago. They're the ones who gave the Dino Fury team all the powers, and then, <laughs> and then they are the ones who also created the the uh, Nexus Prism. And it's like, why are you retconning this shit so hard? Why, why, why can't we just keep uh, kept the uh, Nexus Prism to be, the, I, I don't know, some sort of a mystery? You know? But it's just... <laughs> oh, it's just so horrible. And some of these episodes are just so mind-numbing. Like, the episode about the Green Ranger... Uh, and, and her girlfriend, like, the episode that established it, pissed me off only because... Now, that's gonna be, uh, 
uh, fucking horrible out of context, but it pissed me off only because of the Black Ranger. Want to know why? The fucker meddles in his sister's relationship, and that brought up bad memories because, oof, because my father did the same exact thing to me when I started college by... I, 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 I made this fucking... <laughs> I think I said this multiple fucking times. He made me a fucking dating account, started catfishing this one girl, and handed me the his damn tablet and said, "Go, go talk, talk, talk to her." I'm like, what "The fuck did you do?" And I get why he did that. He wanted me to, you know, actually talk to people, but it's like you th threw me into the situation without telling me. Pretending to be me, we may have the same exact name, but that doesn't doesn't mean you can do that shit. It's like, no, you, you, you don't fuck with someone's relationships. Because in the episode, the, the Black Ranger thinks his sister has a crush on this one guy. And it's like, no, 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 no. It, do, it doesn't matter if you think that she has a crush on him. Don't fuck. Don't, don't set things up unless the guy also has the same exact feelings and you want and you want to help him. But even then, you should still ask the sister. Because if, if, if you knew that, you, you know, you'll find out she has a thing for someone else, that being her rival. And the best part is, her and her rival went on the date. And it's like, he, he forced, forces himself into a said date with the guy he thinks she has a crush on. And it's like, no, 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 in fact... The Green Ranger sh probably should just just flat. I said no. Fuck off. This is a date between me and her. Just no. Get out of here. But no. This is. This is. <laughs> don't 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 fuck with other people's relationship. That's literally my issue with that. And. Ah. <sighs> uh. And the Sam series is getting, is really getting under my nerves because in one episode they found the uh, Dimetro Zord. Uh, I forget his the Sentai name for it. Though in the Sentai, this Zord's fucking weird because in the Sentai the Zords are sentient, but this time some of them can actually talk. Here you go, Power Rangers fandom. Whenever this likes to load, I, I know I'm dropping frames right now. Nothing I can really do about it. There we go. Dime Volcano. That's the uh, Sentai equivalent. I don't know what the uh, name of it is in, uh, in, in the uh, damn show. They find the corresponding... Uh, key for him and the pink ranger activates it destroying the monster well no, I, no they didn't destroy the monster the monster grew they some of the zords form the mega zord then right there and then the damn zord pops out out of nowhere and i'm getting huge huge mega force flashbacks you don't you do not do that shit man you just don't uh The episode should have been about about them getting readings about a Zord in the area and them finding the Zord and the damn key, but did, never mind. Never mind. And not to mention the co comedic relief of this season, the damn <laughs> the person who runs what's essentially BuzzFeed. I guess BuzzFeed mixed with TMZ, I guess you could say, and her damn robot. And this stuck out to me only because I know for a fact I can use a Blazing Saddles uh, clip for it. But she had the damn bot put on a collar to make the bot act like a cat. And I'm like, no, <laughs> you, you crossed you crossed the line there. Because that is 
Too fucking weird. And let's just say I can't wait to use that damn clip. The only good thing is that they brought back Lord Zed. That may be spoilers, but A, they do it in the first, like, five seconds of his introduction episode. And B, it was advertised hell and back on Twitter, but it's just... It's just... It, it, it's been a, a shitty ride so far. Hopefully with the Green Ranger, they actually have a good relationship, because Power Rangers has some of the best with it. The only good ones has been in the first Power Ranger seasons with Tommy and Kimberly, but then again, they fuck that up in Zeo with the whole uh, Dear John letter. Then you got Power Rangers Time Force between Wes and Jen, which was legitimately good. And you know what? In the, the uh, reinforcements from the future two-parter in Wild Force, you can still see the connection there, but then again, the, the uh, Time Force cast is more well-established actors, especially uh, the dude who played Rancic. He actually acted in Mad Max. And then, to f finish this off, y you have the shitty relationship in uh, Mystic Force with uh, the Red and Blue Ranger with where, where they just, you know, establish it at the fucking end of the ser series, but even then it was more the Red Ranger saying, you know, I, I can come back. Only if there's someone to come back to, and, you know, in the whole romantic sense, you know, because you know, the Red Ranger has a gigantic stick up his ass. Ugh. The relationship in Dino Charge is... Eh. Uh, the Red and Pink Ranger, I, I guess they're, they're, they're fine together, but it's just... But, uh, I, don't, I don't know. It's just... Didn't really care about the re their relationship, but... It, it could be that the Green Ranger's girlfriend, it, it, it could be because she's not a ranger that they probably won't be able to do that much with her. But, it's just... I just hope they do better. Oh, shit, I almost forgot about the uh, Ninja Steel relationship, which was still and eh, but at least we saw them from the start being couples, and apparently the Yellow and White Ranger were, were actually going to break up, and then the Yellow Ranger was going to start dating the, dating the Pink Ranger, which would have been interesting, but eh, the... Uh, Actors uh, for the White and Pink Ranger said, oh, fuck that. And so they kept the uh, Yellow and White Ranger together, which it was still interesting, but still boring as all fuck. But then again, that's Ninja Steel. What the fuck do I expect? But yeah, it's, they probably won't do that much since the uh, girlfriend is not a Ranger, but eh, you never know. Hell, maybe they'll be able to do the whole Amber subplot better. <laughs> fuck that. Invincible is a good show. How they did Amber is just horrible. And before anyone says, no, it's not black. Look at my model skin color. You'll know it's not because of that. But, hey. I've rambled on way too long. Especially since I have a phone call. So, yeah, I gotta, gotta end off the stream now.